Okay, my name is Mark Malore. I'm an attorney here in Riverside, California. I have my own law firm, the Malore Law Firm. I want to speak with you briefly today, especially my clients in Lake Elsinore, about foreclosure and foreclosing on property. I think an important step to understand in foreclosure very briefly is to understand the non-judicial foreclosure process. Non-judicial foreclosure process is a process by which a lender will foreclose on property without using the court system to do so, without getting a court order to foreclose on property, because you or uh, the payee is not paying the mortgage payment to the lender. So what needs to transpire in order to effectuate the non-judicial foreclosure? Well, the first thing after uh, two or three uh, missed payments is that we need to record what's called a uh, notice of default. The notice of default is recorded, and that starts the time frame, which technically, uh, definitionally, starts the foreclosure process. Until the notice of default is recorded with the county recorder's office where the property is located, the property is not in foreclosure. Once it records, the property is now technically in foreclosure, and a 90-day period begins to run. Following that 90 days, the second thing that needs to be recorded is what's called a notice of sale. The notice of sale is recorded and then a 20-day time period runs before the house may be sold in the courthouse steps. And according to California law, the payee or the borrower has until five days prior to sale to make up all the payments and pay that to take the foreclosure off the market. There are some lenders, because of the difficult economic times we're in, which are accepting payments uh, even within that five-day period of the 20 days. But the law says they don't necessarily have to. But practically speaking, sometimes they do because they prefer to have that money rather than take the loss on the foreclosure. And then once the 20-day period runs, the house can be sold in the courthouse steps to the highest bidder or the note holder for the value of their note. And that's typically the non-judicial foreclosure process that we see occurring uh, with our clients in Lake Elsinore or for our clients that need to foreclose on property that they own there. If you have any further questions, feel free to give me a call. I'd be happy to sit down with you and discuss your options.